Over to you, Chair Powell. President Biden passing the buck on inflation. Secretary Yellen issuing a mere culpa. I was wrong then about um, the path that inflation um, would take. As I mentioned, there have been unanticipated and large shocks to the economy that have boosted uh, energy and food prices and um, supply bottlenecks that have affected our economy badly that I, didn't, at the time, didn't fully understand. We need to get to AMH down in D.C. Anne-Marie, credit to Secretary Yellen, stepping up, standing there and saying, I was wrong. Yeah, a lot of people got it wrong, right, including the Fed chair, Jay Powell, who the president has now said it is fully his responsibility to fix. Also, yesterday, Jonathan, in the briefing room, after that meeting, Brian Deese, the president's uh, head of the National Economic Council, came out to brief reporters on the meeting on inflation and was asked as well, said, sir, you stood at this podium telling us this was going to be temporary and instead of owning it the way Janet Yellen did, really deflected and also pointed a lot of attention to how uncertain this was coming out of a pandemic, but also the fact that this is a global problem. Look at Europe. They're dealing with north of 8% inflation as well. So clearly, Jonathan, you see the administration really coming out aggressively that you're going to see more of this as well for the month of June to pivot towards tackling the issue of the economy. But the question is, is it so much going to be in different policies or more about the messaging? And so far, it's really been the messaging. The president, two, uh, 24 hours, two op-eds, Wall Street Journal, New York Times. He had a meeting with the Fed chair. He's going to be meeting with suppliers for infant formula. There's going to be a lot of different messaging, and very aggressively so, for the month of June. Because when you look at the polls, and one recent one said 9 out of 10 of Americans, out of a minimum, say inflation is the biggest concern, and they don't like the way the Biden administration is handling it. You said it. Let's unpack it piece by piece. We had an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal on inflation. We had an op-ed in the New York Times on foreign policy. Amir Culper from his Treasury Secretary. You can throw in the fact that he sat there with the Fed chair. And not so subtle, it's them, not us, about inflation with the Federal Reserve. And an NBC report in the last 24 hours suggesting this president is increasingly frustrated with his own administration and the people around him. As you pointed out, Anne-Marie, is this going to be about policy or messaging going into the midterms? Well, at the moment, I think a lot of this is about messaging, right? Uh, one of those nuggets in that NBC report, Jonathan, said the president is incredibly frustrated where he comes out and he says something, and then only for his own aides to then walk it back. So there does seem that there are a lot of questions uh, around potentially is there going to be any shifts in the administration? The NBC piece talked about potentially with the White House chief of staff, Ron Klain, maybe after the midterms. That would be a more traditional path of a lot of presidencies after two years in after a midterm sometimes there is a change of course but it does look like our changing course at the moment ahead of these midterm elections where this is the number one issue for voters to change the communication on inflation when it comes to policies they say that they are doing everything they can but then you question are they we asked Brian Deese yesterday in that briefing room reporters asked him sir where are we when it comes to the China tariffs which some economists say could shave off some inflation and they said I don't have an update for you on that so a number of policies that have been floated but then they've not actually followed through. That some say could impact the inflation story right now.